if, if a course would fall under an institution's core, it doesn't matter if the student has already done way more courses in that area than they would need for their core. If it's a course that for any student at that institution would count as core, because core is often fairly broad. You know, you have to have something in social science. You have to, you know. If it fits into that institution's core, then the institution get, can get funding for a student taking that dual credit. That makes sense? Okay. Right. Well, the high school will get it, right? If the students at the high school, and they'll get the ADA which funding, which works a little bit differently. But yes, both institutions will get it. It doesn't have to be that, oh, that student already has 42 hours, and that's the core, and they can't get funded for any more dual credit. It's just, it can't be, and I, my brain's not working. I hate to use underwater basket weaving. But whatever the case may be, it can't be a, a course. And maybe that shows how old I am. But it can't be a course that is not allowable, that is, doesn't fit into one of those categories that it wouldn't fit in for anybody as core. That makes some sense? OK. So it's, it's much more flexible than it may sound. And again, we looked and we found a few courses. There might be some local courses that, that wouldn't fit. Um, and, and, uh, but most everything did. <laughs>